Hello everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. In today's video, we are simply going to be designing a cute character inside of Canva using shapes only. And the whole process will be explained in this video. And just in case this is the first time you're seeing my face, I would highly encourage you to subscribe because this channel is all about Canva. I also have a special community where I want to invite you. The link can be found below. Canva Pro, the link can be found below. So without any further ado, let's dive straight into the tutorial. So we can see we have a blank canvas and the dimension I'm using is 1080 by 1080. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is to press R on our keyboard to add our shape. Okay, and we'll just have it like this and we need it with rounded corners. So come to corner rounding and increase it. Okay, so we have something like this and make sure you are centering it. Okay, if possible, try to make your shape a bit smaller. Now, these are the color codes I will be using. I had to quickly import it. Okay, and let me just show you the color so that you can easily use them as well. So for the first color, the color code is FECD91. Okay, the second color code is CD6D5A. Okay, the third color code is 78190 F okay and the fourth color code we are going to use is 352401 so these are the color codes we are going to be using all right so now that we have that out of the way what we are going to do is we are going to change the color of this shape okay to the first one over here okay yeah so we have something like this then press C on your keyboard to add a circle Okay, increase the circle and you can just place it. It should be, you know, centered. Okay, then you can right click on it. Okay, so right click, come to layer, come to show layers and make sure you have it behind the, you know, the rounded square. Okay, so this is what we have and we have to change the color of this. So choose color. Okay, and we can choose, you know, this orange. Okay, this second one over here. All right, and this is what we have at the moment so what we are going to do again is select it and duplicate it okay using ctrl d okay and just make it smaller and this is for the hair you know to add the curls and all that and you would want to create various variations of this particular circle okay so you can just make the size big and all that okay so something like this is cute you can see what i'm doing so just feel free and be creative okay so we have it here like this and i may increase maybe this one more and have it here like this so i'll select it and make it smaller okay or the face slimmer then i would reduce it like that okay so this is what we have at the moment the hair now we want to add the eyes okay so press c uh no not this okay press c on your keyboard so let me delete this okay to add another shape which is a circle okay and you can have it small like that i'll position it here and duplicate it to something like this okay so we have the two eyes okay then we can center it then we can change the color okay to the last color we have in here all right so we have it here like that very very nice then we want to add a triangle so come into element and just search for triangle okay to a triangle for the nose okay so we'll reduce the size okay and if you want your character to have a big nose you can do that okay then you can also add some corner rounding if you want okay then we'll change the color okay to match the hair all right something cute like this then we want to duplicate this eyes okay and bring it over here you can see how it's looking but there's not the shape we want to use so select it come to shape over here to transform the shape okay and you should find the shape okay over here so choose it and you can see how it looks now so we can just reduce it and you know just expand it something like this just to make sure he is happy okay then we can also center it okay so okay i think it's centered already let's make sure everything is centered okay so i think we are doing a great job all right so what we're simply going to do next is to press c on our keyboard again all right and this is for the ears so we'll reduce the size a little bit and we'll duplicate this you know we'll duplicate it like this all right then the color choose it come into colors all right and choose the same color to match the face okay 
then the inner ear will be a bit darker okay so we can still choose the same color but come to add a new color and make it a little bit darker okay so you drop it down a little bit okay then once you position it here you can press and hold alt okay click any of the corner and drag so that it makes it small like that okay then we can move it to the side all right then we can select the two of them and duplicate it and i'll move this for you to touch the other end of the circle okay then just make sure the sizes are equal we can just select all of them and reduce them okay then move this one here something like this and move this one to something like this okay so that they match you can see then what we have to do is let's move it in a little bit but for this you have to use your eye to gauge them okay so then we move it in a little bit okay and we'll send it behind the head okay like this and we'll do the same for this one as well we we'll send it behind the head and you can see what we have at the moment this is looking very nice but the face is looking very odd or weird in a way so what we can do is with all these circles okay let's select or right click come to layer okay and show layers and we want to deselect some of them so let's deselect um the big one okay the big circle we have over here you can see and let's deselect the face okay so i deselect it and i'll bring this down a little bit okay then this can also come inside yeah so something like this is fine yeah i think now it's it looks better let's add another circle press c on the keyboard for a circle right and you can reduce the size position it somewhere here reduce the size more okay to something like this then you can duplicate it and also bring it here make sure they are aligned properly okay to something like this then select the two of them okay come to color and choose no color okay so you can see now there's no color then come to the border style okay and the border style choose the line okay and you can increase this according to how you want it okay now that we have this press what l on the keyboard okay and we are going to increase the thickness or the width of it the line width okay so increase it a little bit then you can reduce the line okay to something like this and position it here okay so you see what we have at the moment i think what we can do is we can reduce the width okay so that it matches and let's also make sure we are positioning everything everything should be centered okay good it's centered now so this is what we have at the moment one last thing i would want us to do is i would maybe reduce this a little bit and uh, i'll select all the small circles especially those at the bottom here okay then i would first of all group them okay and duplicate them using ctrl d okay so select everything here you can group them and duplicate them using ctrl d okay then change the color make it a bit darker so come to add color and you know drop it down a little bit all right then what we can do is you can send this behind behind the original hair okay and we can also move them okay just slightly so move it slightly like this okay i think this this looks good then we can do the same for this particular face okay so you can duplicate this you know the face come to color we are already at color if you can you know just drop it down a little bit okay so once you have it like that you can also send it to the back okay so send it to the back then you can also drop it a little bit okay so you can use your arrow key to align things properly and this is what you should have okay and i hope we're able to create something beautiful inside of canva using ships alone if you found it helpful then i'm sure you'd also enjoy being part of my wonderful community the link can be found below we get to have group design competitions monthly workshops um individual challenge you know design challenges and so much more you get to collaborate with so many people i want to personally invite you to join the community and i'll see you there the name is benjamin always remember there is no limit to creativity i will see you in my next video peace